Good morning, everybody. So I uploaded this montage decode that I did on the Bezos Blue Origin launch that just happened a couple days ago. And we're going to look at that today. But one of you found something very strange. Not only does this scene in this 2012 iPad Go 2 animation match Bezos rocket, as you can see here, but something else happened. One of you noticed that the oldest woman in space has a shoe that matches the woman in the tower of iPad Go 2 from 2012. This is called like a booster shoe. One shoe has like basically added material here, as you can see right here. And this is the oldest woman in space. And her shoe also has extra material added to this. Now, when I first heard about this, I wasn't sure what I was hearing. And I kind of wrote it off and I should have checked into it. I couldn't believe that, in fact, this would be the case. I was in shock that the programming could be so specific pointing all the way back to 2012 and I pet go to in which the woman in the tower has this booster shoe. Here are some images of it just so you can confirm that we're not stretching this or making this up. There is a difference in her shoe height. Now we're going to get into what all that means and why this is the case as we examine some of this stuff. But, this is the tower in iPad Go 2 in which an old woman with the booster shoe is present. And when you put that side by side with the actual Blue Origin New Shepard rocket with also the older woman with a booster shoe, there's a match there. I don't think anyone would really deny that at this point. But let's break this down even further. So, what does all this mean? Now, I can't show you the woman in iPad Go 2 because she has cartoon boobies and we're not allowed to show that. In fact, uh, I had a takedown a couple months ago when we covered this. But this is bizarre because Wally Funk is the name of the astronaut, has a booster shoe. Now, this is what is called short leg syndrome. Let's get into what all that means short leg syndrome and it basically is where one leg is shorter than the other and there's only a few ways that you can get this short leg syndrome you're either born with it genetically or you have some kind of injury while in puberty while you're growing or you had polio yet nowhere on the internet do they talk about Wally Funk's short leg. It's about, I would say, about an inch, maybe an inch and a half shorter than the other leg, as you could tell by these images here. Let's click back on this one. It's about an inch to an inch and a quarter. Now, the entire world right now is pushing the CV-19 sticker. So this fits right in to maybe why she was chosen to fly the new Shepard. It's the link between polio and the new CV-19 sticker. Now, we had covered the old woman in the tower. I believe here, let's take a look at this. We had covered this in a previous video from, let's see, I think this was probably two months ago. See if we can pull it up here. Here it is. And it was called Pet Goat Minnow Unpaused. And we talked about polio and the boot. We've also done other videos on polio and what this means compared to the current thing that we're going through right now. We talked about short leg syndrome long before this launch took place. Here's another decode that we did 
on Planet of the Apes, Apollo Zero, Face Mask, Time Traver Travel, Copper, and the Polio Virus. As you can see here, you can look this up by title. It's weird though, when you type in this exact title, the result that comes up is way down the list. So you got to search for it. But here it is. Charlton Heston, as you can see on the left, they end up putting a mask on him, like a muzzle. And we decoded Planet of the Apes. We also talked about other things relating to this. The World's Fair of Tomorrow is happening now. We talked about how the Perisphere and Trilon of the World's Fair. The Trilon was also the name of a syringe. And that the World's Fair of Flushing Meadows really was all about ushering in the era of polio stickers. Now, in this video, back to this one, Planet of the Apes, we talk about the simian monkey flu, which people in the 1960s contracted from polio stickers. Many died, got cancers. So there's something happening here, isn't there? Now, we're not picking on anybody here. We're just making observations about some very, very strange synchronicities. Now, let's watch this montage. And after that, we're going to look at Wally Funk and see if we can find any more clues. Let's take a look at this. So this is the scene from iPad Go 2. And this is the match that we found of the phallic imagery. Obviously, there's a man laying down. And the rocket going into the air, the trying to crack through the firmament through a portal, which is a spiral. This is what these people are up to. We made this discovery a couple days ago. Um, actually, one of you were the ones that sent me this information. You're like, Casey, the rocket, Bezos rocket, the Blue Origin New Shepard, looks a lot like the tower in iPad Go 2. So then I looked and then I put together this montage. So let's keep watching here because this goes very deep. So there's the side-by-side -side of the Blue Origin New Shepard compared to the tower in iPad Go 2. You can see this very distinct vertical line on the side of the rocket, which seems to match the very distinct vertical line on the side of the tower in iPad Go 2. This was done in 2012. This is happening now or just happened in 2021. You notice 1221. That's a mirror number. 1221. 1, 2012, 2021. Now, what else makes this interesting that I didn't put in this montage video is that iPad Goat 2 released on June 26th. Not too far away from the July 20th flight. So here is the old woman in the tower. And visually, she doesn't look like Wally Funk, but she is definitely an older woman. Wally Funk is 82.
Now, many of you would ask, what is this on the side? What is that design? Well, it's a feather. Blue Origins logo is a blue feather. In this case, it's gray on the side of the rocket instead of blue, which again matches exactly the motif and the color scheme of iPad Go 2. Now, many of you noticed that the people inside were, which was Jeff Bezos, Mark Bezos, and Wally Funk, as well as a guy with the last name Demon, they were all wearing blue flight suits. Now, what is this cross on top? I'll get into that in a minute here. Boosters Bezos Firmament Buster, The New Shepherd, Blue Blood Origins. Enter the stars and welcome to the latest revelation in our nested reality. I Pet Go 2, the animation you're seeing right now, was released in 2012. And in this scene, the heavens opened up upon the phallic booster. The question is, what is it boosting? I believe the answer lies in this scene. So what is this all about? Well, we're going to get into that later in the show because I believe that this is symbolic of something being put into humankind through boosters, the blue blood. You can see the phallic imagery center screen as well as in the upper right in the clouds in the lower right hand corner in the mountains. And when I look at this scene, the word injection comes to mind as the scene is bathed in blue and white. You see, Amazon has always been about the blue blood and the phallic imagery. Look at Michael Jordan and his blue eyes in this Alexa Amazon ad for the Super Bowl and watch the Amazon symbol stretch across the bathtub from him to her beneath the water. So now that we know what the blue origin really means, we can also figure out what Apollo's arrow really means in the connection to all of this. What did Apollo's arrow really do? And is that the reason why the astronauts named the Apollo mission to the moon after Apollo? And is this why Bezos is following in the Apollo mission footsteps? by naming his aircraft the New Shepard after one of the first men in space. I don't know about you, but I don't want a new shepherd. I want Yahuwah, Jesus Christ, as my shepherd. And I want to take the narrow gate home. Now, Bezos is 57 years old, and he chose the date to launch this rocket. 57, 57, 57, and 6, 6, and 6 days after his birthday. Not the wide gate. So the question becomes, who will be the first billionaire to crack the firmament? That's what this race is all about. I'm 
going to make sure you guys are with me, and we're going to continue on with this. A lot more to the show today. So thanks, everybody, for showing up. Notice the top of the tower and the small crucifix. Now, there were rumors that Bessos tried to buy the Catholic Church and even donated $500 million recently to Catholic charity. Now, when it comes to cracking the firmament, all is revealed when you look at the coat of arms of Bessos company, Blue Origin. The circle of the lens earth below sitting on time, trapped, and above the impenetrable shield of the heavens. The turtle shell is the hard firmament. That's why there are two turtles there. You see, the fallen ones wish to break through. That has always been their goal. You even see the serpent ray of the sun pointing north, different from all the other rays of the sun. Now, I want you to notice, and this is one thing I left out of this montage, the sun is front and center, and it almost appears to be exploding out of the firmament, trying to break through. This is what Apollo wants to do. This is why the rockets are shaped the way they are, like an arrow to bust through. This is their goal. They want to release the spirits into heaven. The Bible says this, that the enemy wants to elevate himself above the Most High in the throne of the heavens. So this is what they're doing. What is their goal? This happens sometimes. Let's stay here. Make sure we're connected. Sorry about that, you guys. Looks like we got kicked off for a minute. Let's try again. Looks like the connection's here. Okay, good. Let's keep going with this. I'm going to back it up just a little bit in case you missed it. Different from all the other rays of the sun. What is their goal? To release the wandering stars from inside. To blast them through the firmament. So they can make war on heaven. For their sun god. Take care and be safe, you guys. So there it is. Um, that is the montage that we uploaded a couple of days ago. So let's get into Wally Funk. So here she is here. Here's her Wikipedia page. And again, we're not picking on anybody. We're simply looking and connecting dots. And again, we're not picking on anybody. We're simply looking and connecting dots that nobody else is connecting to try to figure out and solve this mystery of how it is that all these elements and things keep coming full circle. I'm not saying anything bad about this one at all, but look at when she was born, February 1st, 1939. That is a day that has 333 days remaining in the year. Now, that in of itself doesn't mean anything bad. It's just a clue. Now, here's where things get crazy, because there's a lot to this woman. We're going to go down and look through her life. She joined what is called the Mercury 13 Women's Space Program, and it was started out by a guy named Lovelace, and he was the head of NASA Medical. Lovelace. Now, this tower that she's in here um, actually has, let's see if I could pull it up here, where'd it go? Her with these shoes, with these peculiar laces. So it appears as though we're having some connection issues. Oh, maybe I can close this up. This might help. Let's close that. All right. So, she has these pink laces that match the heart that is on the exterior of this tower. You can't see it here, but there's an actually a heart. It's actually right here, the exterior of this tower that blinks. Love, lace, 
heart lace. So that's one clue. Now, this goes even further. Because there's more clues. Just want to make sure you guys are still with me. Now, she is the oldest woman in space, so that matches up with the tower as well. She joined this Mercury 13 Women in Space program, started by Lovelace. He was head of NASA Medical, and now we match up the shoes and the laces. Now, here's what happened. She was put in this deprivation tank for 10 hours. And I can imagine she was probably counting the minutes. As you can see here, there's all these count marks all over the walls. The woman in the towers for my pet go to. Now, I had to block the inside of her leg and her cartoon boobies because YouTube doesn't like that. Even though I pet go to is all over their platform thousands of times and no one else gets in trouble, but they decided to pick on us. So we blocked it out. We've censored it out. Okay. But in the animation, when you watch this, the blood disappears. So the weird thing is, is this older woman that had you know a cycle and then it disappears so this is really weird now when you look back at wally she actually drives a car called or has a restored car called a wraith down here at the bottom very bottom of her wikipedia page now what is a wraith it's a Hooper Silver Wraith. It's a car. Hers is a 1951 Silver Wraith. But basically, this was a similar vehicle to what you saw in this bizarre vampire TV series called Nosferatu. About the devil stealing children and taking them to Christmas land. He drives a Wraith. Different kind of Wraith. Hers was this one. It's called the Hooper Wraith. A little bit different. But a Wraith nonetheless. Now, what is a Wraith? A Wraith is a demon. As you can see here, it's a Watcher demon. To be more specific, a Watcher or Guardian. We, it's safe to say... This is probably like a fallen angel, a vengeful spirit. And these cars were made by Rolls Royce and they were named after the Wraith or a demon and then depicted in these very bizarre TV series representing evil. Now, the Wraith in Nosferatu had magical powers. He could basically go between dimensions. Now, Let's get back to this Lovelace character because I want to dig a little deeper into this guy. And he's kind of weird. Why? Because he watched and studied people and animals as they slowly died from radiation poisoning that they contracted from nuclear radiation exposure. He then went on to head up this program with these 13 female astronauts and we'll get into what he did to them. Now, I got to be careful here because I'm going to show you the woman in the tower again. But her dress has something weird on it. A fig leaf. Okay, there it is there. I got to be careful not to show the cartoon boobies because YouTube doesn't like that. So here are the fig leaves on her dress. So I wanted to know what these fig leaves represented. A fig leaf is widely used to convey the covering up of an act or an object that is embarrassing or distasteful. What could that mean? Are the fig leaves on the woman? Are they covering up the blood on the inside her legs here? Is that what her dress really means? And what does that mean? Is there a deeper spiritual meaning to that? 
Is there something else going on here? Now, the official Heliophant website names this woman in the tower. Her name is Madame, the letter that shall not be named. Hmm. Is this woman in the tower? Wally Funk. That is the question. Now, I just got done watching this documentary on Wally Funk. It came out in 2018. It's called Mercury 13. And it's about the 13 women and this secret space program that happened outside of NASA is what they want us to believe. And the very opening scene of this documentary has the women meeting in a restaurant called the tower grill the woman in the tower and later in the documentary the mercury 13 doctors they joke about testing every single orifice of their bodies it's very cringy if you listen to it and then at about 25 minutes into the documentary you get the idea that there was a lot more going on in this testing than just testing. Something happened to these women. And you'll have to read between the lines in the documentary, but you can go to the 25-minute mark and start listening. And it's very clear. These women said there were exotic tests run on them, is what they, they said, and a couple other things that I can't say here on YouTube. Now, of course, this documentary has a very feminist slant to it. But in this case, these women really did get shafted. And they were excluded because of their gender. Now, what I want you to notice is this kind of sexism was coming from the top down. A federally funded program. And this is one more example how a lot of the differences between race and, and gender... They don't come from person to person. This stuff comes from the top down. This program and NASA, they had every opportunity at that point in history to try to equalize rights for women, and they simply didn't. They ignored them top down. Now, of course, I don't believe in NASA and their objectives and their goals for space, of course. I don't co-sign their bottomless budgets and their exuberance and their absence of giving the glory to God, as well as their lies that they pushed to keep the space race going. Now, if a couple guys wanted to get up for a few million dollars and go up in a rocket and just cruise around up there and talk about how beautiful the stars are and how God, how great God is, and how amazing it is, that would be a different kind of program, wouldn't it? But instead, we're given something completely different with NASA. No glory to God. In fact, the glory goes to the false god, Apollo. So the documentary on, on Netflix is a prime example of how the controllers are the ones to dictate human rights, not you and me. We're not the ones standing in the way. So what is this really about, this woman in the tower? Well, I'm almost positive that off again, you guys. All right, are you guys there? So as I was saying, I believe this has much more to do with polio and how it links back into the current CV-19 sticker. Now, the polio sticker was the first to inject the world with what I believe is the blue origin. And that's what all of this is really about. It's the serpent seed injecting the world. Now, I want you to remember the Flushing Meadows World's Fair decodes that we did, which we discovered the launched, that they really launched the era of the polio vaccinations. And we figured out that because the Trilon needle that was at the center of the World's Fair, it was also the brand name of a syringe. I think I just closed those windows because I was, for some reason, we keep getting kicked off. But the Trilon was also the brand name of a syringe. And I showed that to you, I think, earlier in the show. 
Just a few years after that World's Fair in Flushing Meadows, the polio era began and the World Sticker Program campaign began. So that is where everything sits with some of the final thoughts on the Blue Origins New Shepherd flight, what it represents on a spiritual demonic level. And that's what I wanted to show you guys today. I hope most of the show came through. Um, because we've been live for about 30 minutes. I don't even let's see, I guess that's about right. Yeah. So hopefully too much of it didn't get chopped out. Thanks to the new member. Louis Capisi. Thanks for joining the channel, Louis. And so let's see what's going on here. So it seems to me that the space race is kind of shifting, or at least they're adding another component to it. They're never going to stop talking about Mars, but now they're adding this new component to this, which is billionaires going to space, right? And so obviously this is the new um, tactic that they're using. I feel like NASA is losing ground in the court of public opinion. They're having to basically censor 75% of the comments and ratings, even here on YouTube, because most people are on to it, right? And at the very least, most people understand that the exuberance of spending trillions of dollars on this while the world, while th three quarters of the world starves is just not about human rights all the fuel that's that's burning and and the fossil fuels and all these things okay it's completely against what they say they stand for which is warming you know going you know global warming all this stuff so it's hypocrisy at its finest the exuberance of it all i was looking at numbers that Bezos was spending billions of dollars every year. He was using the money from his Amazon proceeds. So every time we go on and buy something on Amazon, part of that money went to funding his billion dollar a year company to basically shoot a rocket into space and be weightless for 90 seconds. It makes absolutely no sense to me. And how this can operate in plain sight with with no outrage just is beyond me. It just shows me how sleep humans are. Why not take those billions and make life great for everybody? Why not make life great for everyone? Use those billions and trillions of dollars to give everybody a 30-hour work week or a 25-hour work week. And have them be able to spend three or four days of their week spending time with their families instead of having their children raised by babysitters. That would improve the human condition. Or how about helping people to farm in their country so that they're not poor? Or I don't know. I don't I don't have all the answers. The Bible says that no man can rule himself. So we know that we're not going to see those things happen now. We know that only God's kingdom is going to bring fairness and joy and happiness and not be wasteful. We know that. But what if they could? What would the world look like if it was really fair? It would look like what I just described to you. Not spending trillions of dollars trying to defy God trying to break through something, trying to pretend like you can just, oh, we don't believe the Bible because, oh, we don't have to have our earth destroyed. We'll just go find another planet. That's basically what they're saying. They think they can just escape, escape this planet and go to another one. Oh, if the Bible says God's going to destroy the earth, uh, we'll just go find another one. It's Antichrist. The very idea of trying to find other worlds that you can go to and colonize is antichrist so i hope you guys all understand that because uh when you just settle it all out and you look at things for what they are the truth emerges okay take all the emotion out of it the truth emerges let's look at some of your comments here 
I don't know why we got ki we got kicked off like three times today, you guys. It could be because I got some of these windows open. Um, I'll try to be better about that, especially if you have like Netflix open. I got Netflix open and I had like three YouTube tabs open. So I don't want to blame YouTube for why we got kicked off, but that was a little bit weird. So seem to be doing okay now. Jesus Christ is the true vine. Okay, rock of fuel, think about it. And fire will come down from heaven. Yes. I'm not criticizing anybody for using their freedom. I'm talking about their hypocrisy. Why would you claim to want to help people, but then spend billions of dollars a year that could be helping people just so you can get your jollies off by going weightless for a few hours and bragging to the world that you were the first billionaire in space? It's complete hypocrisy. Now, if he had already helped the world, if he had already given away three quarters of his money and then wanted to do that, that's a completely different story. I'm not criticizing. I don't even think that people have a right to his money. It's not what I'm saying here. We all know what the Bible says about rich man getting into heaven. All right, let's look at some of your other comments here. Yes, there will be a new earth, Cynthia. This one is going to be destroyed by fire. And, and it ain't going to be NASA who finds the new earth. It's going to be recreated right here. God is love. Things are going bananas. I agree 100%. Now, to add to this, the Spanish word for kiss is besos. So, more love references or heart references there as well that match up with this rocket, the new shepherd. More like a kiss of betrayal, like Judas, the Judas kiss. Okay. One day closer to his return. Absolutely. Okay. Yes, Judas gave Christ a kiss of betrayal. Kiss of death. And think about what a kiss could mean in terms of the serpent and his fangs. The double shot. I think that's what's really going on here. Hey, you guys, did any part of that, uh, of this live show drop out? Because I got kicked off OBS like twice. Just let me know in the chat here. Thanks, Shirley. Love you guys. HP Lovecraft connection. It's possible with the, the love, the love aspect to it. Hello from San Diego. Okay, looks like we're good. Looks like it all came through. Buffered a few few minutes. Okay, good. All right. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let you guys go. Have a great day. Uh, we'll be back on here tomorrow with some headlines i'm gonna look at some of these other countries that really didn't get too many stickers and they seem to be doing just great in fact one country in particular we're going to look at tomorrow they actually had a vast increase in cases just after they got a new shipment of stickers so we're going to look at all that tomorrow and break down some of the statistics they've got graphs pulled up and everything else I'll pin all of these comments, I mean, all these uh, links here in the comments section. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care and be safe.